It's time for Wisdom 31. Welcome to Wisdom 31, day 17. Proverbs chapter 17, verse 4 reads this way. An evildoer listens to wicked lips, and a liar gives ear to a mischievous tongue. I hear you, but I'm not listening. There are gateways of entry and exit into our lives. And our awareness along with our diligence can determine, well, their effectiveness. One of the biggest misconceptions about the enemy of our souls is that he's obvious, that he is some figure who is easily recognizable, menacing, scary even. And where there may be times when he employs these characteristics, more often than not, he's just simply cunning. Might I challenge you to consider this statement? According to scripture and all respected faith traditions, we do not live in a vacuum. There is a counterforce whose aim is to draw us away from what is best for us. So think about that. Think about what does this mean and what does that look like for you? Is it obvious? Can the tactics used be easily combated? Do horns and pitchforks actually make sense? Wisdom tells us to be on guard against the enemy by being alert to who is at the gate, to protect the gates in our lives, much like we do the doors to our homes. A major gate are our eyes. Another major gate is our mouth. Another major gate is sex. And the last of the major gates is the ear gate. Today, Solomon challenges us to notice what we hear and to guard what we listen to. Now, if we were to work verse four of our text backwards, we might be able to identify the enemy of our souls. There's two things that I wanna highlight and then I'll let you go. Liars listen to mischief. If nonsense is entertaining you, then you are opening yourself up to a permission structure of lies. Here's the second thing. And those who do evil first listen to wickedness. See, it's only a matter of time, uh, not if, but when evil and its intentions rather it's unintentional as well, will be credited to you. Here's the wisdom key of repentance. Unguarded gates become a robber's paradise. Father, forgive us for how we have not watched over what you have given us authority to protect. Be wise.